Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and I am back with a PSVR just general updates although it does include some firewall stuff so I just can't escape it. Uh, not that I want to escape it of course. But uh, it's the two year anniversary for PSVR on the 13th of October. So on the PlayStation blog, at least the US version of the PlayStation blog, they've put up this update here with like a bunch of new class updates. There's some big exciting stuff, especially for Firewall 2. But uh, I think the biggest one here, you can see this guy over here, Claptrap, uh, is the big hint for their big update, which is Borderlands 2 VR, launching exclusively, at least for now, uh, on PSVR on December 14th, which is just so close, like just two months. Uh, a little bit more but whatever you can pre-order it today it is a full price game from what I hear um, when I saw this first I was like oh yeah that's some good shit you know but there are some caveats no co-op of any kind I don't think it's a single player only experience and no aim controller from what I can tell you need two hands for grabbing grabbing things in the game so with the aim controller that might not be uh, possible i hope they add it in i'd be much more excited about it if they had the aim controller uh it's still a very exciting announcement it's especially there's a lot of a lot of people out there love borderlands so this is big even non-viewer gamers might look at this and say you know now is the time to give ps viewer a chance so that's good news for all of us uh there is a gameplay trailer of course out there but uh, I have a sneaking suspicion that this game will end up coming to PC VR, same way Skyrim did, just comes to PS VR first. Um, so if you are on Rift or Oculus, I suspect this will come for you too. Uh, scroll down a bit, they give us the launch days for Tetris Effect, which I'll be honest with you, I can't remember if this is news or not. <laughs> Look, I'm sure it's gonna be a class game, it's going to be trippy as hell, class visuals, stuff like that. But it's not not the kind of game I'm going to get hyped over, you know. Uh, but November 9th, uh, you can tell me if that was known already or not. But you can pre-order it today now as well. Uh, this is cool news. So Astro Boss, a game I've been meaning to pick up. But I just can't tear my way. I can't tear myself away from Firewall, so I haven't bothered yet. But it's going to be getting a free demo on the 16th of October, one week from now which is cool news more people can test that out and the apparently this game is the second coming of jesus right now everyone's even ign even game informer all the big boys are giving this 9 out of 10 that kind of thing which is insane for a ps viewer game and of course i don't know why this is hidden so far down the page why should, this should be near the top this should be right after borderlands but new firewall zero hour dlc when i read this first I misread it because you can see the very last sentence here. It says purchase today through PlayStation Store. They're talking about the game, not about the DLC. The DLC itself is coming the uh, uh, is coming October 16th, which is again a week from now. So I'll just read it out here. So after recently launching to critical and community acclaim, First Contact Entertainment's Firewall Zero Hour is a PS4 exclusive team-based multiplayer shooter you just can't miss starting October 16th. You can also enjoy a new DLC pack that unlocks new items and skins to customize your character and weapons for a completely new style of play. So I've seen people already. Uh, I think they're getting wires crossed. They seem to think um, that when it says new items that they're talking about new weapons or gadgets, but it's to customize your character and weapons. I think when they say items, I think they mean trinkets, stuff like that. I don't think we're going to be getting new items. I could be wrong, of course, uh, but I think this is just purely the cosmetic stuff. That's what that's what they said in their community updates. Now, maybe they'll surprise us. I don't think so. Don't get your hopes up for that. Just keep your expectations in check. Like New items and stuff will come, but I just don't think it will be next week. Um... But yeah, I'm still looking forward to seeing this Cosmetic DLC. It's interesting, the wording they use there is that it's a new DLC pack. 
maybe if you you can buy all the stuff together for a discounted price and then also maybe buy things individually I hope that's how it's gonna be that sounds pretty cool and then over here we got Megaliths so this is a game I heard about I feel like I heard about this maybe two years ago now at this stage maybe two E3's ago uh, it's kind of like a hero based arena type combat thing uh, I, I was interested in it not hyped exactly but they got pre-order and now the game itself isn't going to launch until January 8th uh, but they're doing a free trial on November 13th which is actually very cool I think that's a good idea um, I'll definitely be checking that one out to see if it's you know worth its salt and then just to put like the icing on the cake it says as we eagerly await these amazing titles and updates be sure to check out a special PlayStation VR anniversary sale kicking off today until October 23rd at the PlayStation Store. Here you can continue to build out your library of VR content with games such as Rick and Morty, Firewall, Superhoss, Torn and more all discounted up to 40% off and up to 60% off for PS Plus subscribers so if you don't have Firewall if you don't have super hot games like that this week starting from this week until the 23rd of October keep an eye out for that if you're looking for discounts up to 60% off that'd be very cool I doubt firewall will be have such a significant discount already but maybe 20% off for firewall something like that it's worth it full price so it's definitely gonna be worth it for whatever discount they give and that's kind of the end of us I don't know how much of this applies to the European store I wouldn't be surprised if for example the firewall DLC maybe that comes out on the 17th in Europe uh, but still it's coming it's coming soon this is very exciting today was a very exciting day for uh, PSVR I mean Borderlands 2 huge also not related to any of this but uh, I believe chapter 4 and 5 of The Exorcist have come out for my sins so look out for that I'll be streaming that on the channel if I get some courage and I think I'll end the video with that. Uh, thanks for watching. Please do all the usual shout if you liked it. Just a quick update, uh, kind of a lazily thrown together video. But uh, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next one.